Um, I suppose it's always difficult when it's a, a shortened game like that. Um, I think the key with what we did was try to keep it as simple as possible, try to execute to a simple plan, and on the whole, I think we did that really well. Um, and it showed, obviously, with managing to, to get across the line. Terrible start, brilliant finish. Did you think you'd got enough at the halfway stage? Uh, we were, well, to be honest with you, I wasn't sure, but obviously those two last two overs were huge in dragging the momentum back to us. Um, obviously, uh, it wasn't pretty, but you know we squirted a few boundaries and uh, managed to get a few off the last. So. so you were you timing the ball really well, though, weren't you? Mm. Well, yeah, I think. Um, well, obviously we've got a batting lineup that can can do that, and we we back ourselves in all the way down to 11, pretty much. So you know, uh, we're not shy of trying to trying to hit boundaries. So I think that that helped us today. And and going back to your, to your bowling performance, what was it you were really you were concentrating on? <laughs> trying to keep it away from the batters. <laughs> I was obviously bowling to the short side, uh, mainly Ingram, so I was just trying to hide it on the wide line um, and just trying to keep it away from his swing. Enjoying your cricket at the moment? Yeah, it's going well. So enjoying it, uh, a good win tonight. Hopefully put us back on track for a, a good finish in the group and hopefully a home court final. You must have had some misgivings. <laughs> Not the ideal start. Um, obviously we've got extraordinary power at the top, but. It was a tricky surface. I don't think it was an easy wicket to, you know, go out and belt the ball from ball one. Um, so yeah, after that start, it was just a case of trying to post the total, you know, try and be in the game at the halfway stage. And obviously, uh, Greener played a brilliant little innings, um, sort of to give us a bit of momentum into the second innings. Did you think, in your heart of hearts, that 75 was going to be enough? Yeah, I did, to be honest. Um, particularly given the last sort of couple of weeks how the boys have delivered their skills like under pressure I thought I was pretty confident as I say it was a tricky wicket like when he went into the surface it was really hard to hit um, look of course you know if, if one person gets going it could be a hard task but I certainly back our boys and, and their skill levels you must have been very proud of the way the bowlers performed oh, I was exceptional you know it's we would have liked a few more, don't get me wrong, um, but as I say, you, you know, the, the skill execution in the last few games as well has been absolutely brilliant and especially when there's one really short side, you know, there's such little margin for error. Um, so yeah, very proud of them um, and absolutely delighted with another two points. And Peter Siddle bowling the last over as he did up at the Oval on, on Tuesday, but this time with a much happier result. Yeah, for, I mean, to be fair, you know, his over gave us a chance in that game. Um, and he's been brilliant for us, you know, unbelievable skill, unbelievable guy. Um, and look, we're, we're so confident having him bowling for us at the top and at the death. Um, and yeah, once again, he's delivered the goods. 16 points from 12 games. Not quite sure of, of the quarter-final place yet. You've got two tough games coming up, though, against Middlesex away at Lords and then Surrey at home next Sunday evening. Of course, you know, and we know it's 2020 cricket. Um, we don't expect to be perfect, but... Um, we've got two massive games, um, we feel like we've played pretty well through the competition, probably not been at our best, um, but as I say, sort of, you know, if you want to win the competition, you've got to perform under pressure and you've got to win these big games, so uh, we've obviously got a few days off, um, but we'll get back to training and yeah, obviously we'll be right up for the last two games.